At Margold Farm, the cows are always coming home. This is Celine. Even when Marlene Williams is not. I'm the only one here. I don't have family. I don't have a husband. I don't have children or anybody else to help it with me. Just 60 cows. They all have names. They're all registered. They all seem happy. And Marlene is happier than ever. They're cared for 24-7 just by checking the gauges. So you know if you're up or down. In a barn built in 1923, a robot programmed in 2016 does all of the dairy game. Okay, if you can run a smartphone, you can run this? And just about. And then, of course, and it'll talk to the smartphone. The robot will call your smartphone if you got problems. The robot also feeds the cows, lasers its way to hook up to the milk while they eat, then refrigerates, grades, and stores the daily production for pickup. It costs money, but saves money. In just part-time labor and with what I've saved in, in feed efficiency, it's making my monthly payment for me. And the best part? What sold this system to Marlene was she gets to keep her day job, and the cows just keep milking. The robot also doubles as a veterinarian with its constant medical monitoring from the electronic necklace every Guernsey wears. I know more what's going on with each cow as opposed to simply, I gotta get the chores done, I gotta get the milking done, and I've gotta, you know, where I've gotta try to squeeze everything into a 24 hour period. So can this utterly high-tech operation help keep them down on the farm? The possibilities are built in. But it certainly uh, is an option for them to change what, they, what they've done yeah. and it, it might keep some young people. But there's one thing amazing technology can never duplicate. I love the cows and I love the dairy farming. Um, I think all dairy farmers do it because it's in their heart. They don't do it for the money. They do it because they love it. From Sarcoxy, Missouri, Steve Grant, KY3 News.